Hello everyone, welcome back to our traditional 101 bow hunting 101 uh, video series where we're going to be talking about uh, various components of traditional archery from the perspective of someone just getting started. Today we're going to be talking about uh, bow grips or bow handle styles. Uh, you can hear it referred to as, as uh, either one. Um, and for all intents and purposes, there's basically two different categories that these handles fall into. This is one of those, and this is called a locator grip. And the other one is a straight grip. And we're going to talk about each one of these in a little bit more detail. Now, with a, a locator style grip, you're going to find a lot of different variations in this locator style grip. But what classifies a locator style grip is you've got this dish in the handle that's designed to fit the web of your hand between your thumb and your, your index finger. And locator grips are really good, especially for people just getting started. And ultimately, you may find that this style of handle just fits you, and that's what you always want to shoot, and that's fine. Uh, again, this is a personal thing, and as I've said in the, in the earlier videos, if you're just getting started, get out and shoot as many bows as you can and find what fits your style of shooting best. Now, I'm going to throw a picture up uh, somewhere in the video here at the top, or it may just be a full screen uh, photo. Uh, from St. Joe River Bows, our, our friend Tracy Bolowski over there uh, sent me this photo. They do a lot of different handle styles. Tracy is uh, passionate about making sure that she finds a handle style that fits each shooter best. So you'll see a lot of different variations in this photo. A um, couple things to keep in mind with the locator style grip. One, they do offer good or great consistency because it forces the shooter to put their hand in the same place every time. One word of caution, a lot of uh, people that shoot the locator style grip tend to hyperextend their arm. They want to push that bow as far away from them as they can, thinking they get more power out of the bow or whatever that may be. But you need to find what's comfortable. You don't need to try to hyperextend. That forces you to lock this elbow, which you really shouldn't do, and straighten the elbow out to where it gets in the path of the string. You want to make sure you keep that bow arm a little bit relaxed, turn the elbow out, and that way the your arm will clear the string and you just you, it's better form <clears throat> and you get a much better experience. Um, so again, try a lot of these different locator style grips out and just see which one fits you the best. Also talk to your boyer and see uh, if you're buying a new bow, ask them what's available. Um, if you're looking at buying a used bow, then obviously your, your options are limited there, but again, try a lot of different ones to see which you like best. Now on the straight grip, um, there's really only a couple different variations to this. This one is a pure straight grip, meaning the back of the bow is straight, the front of the bow is straight. These will typically be found on straight limb bows, meaning if I unstrung this bow, the limbs would be relatively straight from one to the other. They may lean a little bit forward or a little bit back, but you're not going to have a lot of uh, uh, variations in the limb. It's for all intents and purposes straight. Uh, you'll often hear these referred to as hill style bows, but not all straight limb bow or bows are hill style bows. But that's typically where you're going to see this, this straight grip. The other variation to the straight grip is called a dished grip. And you can see that here. It's just got a slight dish in the handle. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you that I feel there's an advantage to one over the other. I can't tell you that I feel there's a disadvantage to one over the other. They just feel slightly different when you're shooting them. But um, for all intents and purposes, between the straight and the dish, there's very little difference, in my humble opinion. Now, one thing to remember about shooting this style of bow that is completely different than the, the locator grip is where the locator, you're wanting to put that bow right in the meat of your hand between your thumb and your index finger. With a straight uh, grip style bow, you'll often re hear it referred to as healing the bow, but you want the pressure to be uh, in, the, in the palm of your hand or at the heel of your hand at the bottom of the handle rather than, than up top. Now, the good news is that that somewhat helps force that, that arm to bend a little bit and turn your elbow out, which can reduce the string slap, but especially if you're just getting started and you're building strength, it's almost unavoidable. So just keep in mind you want to put the pressure at the bottom of your hand with these straight uh, grip bows as opposed to in the web of your hand, and you'll get a much better shooting experience as well. 
because a lot of people complain that these hill style bows have what's called hand shock. When you release and the limbs fly forward, the bow feels like it wants to jump out of your hand and you get a little bit more thump than you do with say a recurve or a hybrid style longbow. By healing that bow and putting the pressure at the bottom of your hand and keeping that, that elbow turned out just slightly, you're going to reduce that felt recoil a great deal and it'll be a much more pleasant experience to shoot and it's the way they're designed to shoot. Um, I like the straight grip because it gives me a little bit more freedom as far as where I place my hand. I don't have to be so specific, but again, that's just a, a preference of the shooter and you may find that you just do not like this style at all. I recently introduced uh, my friend Jacob Myers from a, another podcast to traditional uh, archery a few weeks ago and he found that he actually liked the straight grip right off the bat. So you just never know until you get out there and try them. He tried a lot of different bows and ultimately he liked that uh, straight grip the best. Now on these straight limb bows, that doesn't mean you can't get one with a locator style grip. A lot of boyers offer this even in a straight limb style bow. Now this bow has a slight amount of uh, reflex deflex, meaning it's a little bit on the, the hybrid side, but I'm just showing you this as an example that you can find uh, straight limb longbows with that locator style grip if it's just something that you prefer to shoot. So just keep that in mind, a lot of different options, a lot of ways to find the bow that fits you best. So that pretty much covers this video. Uh, I hope it's been informative. I hope you're enjoying the series and until next time, get out there and get to shooting. Have fun everyone.